Hey everybody, it's Curly Cuba Minican bringing you my first haul video. Um, part of my haul is free stuff that I got from re attending Return of the Curls and the other half is just stuff I bought as a actual attendant. I'm wearing part of my haul, which is this shirt. I don't know how well you guys can see it. And this is from Curlicious, so I'll be sure to post her information in the box below in these wide earrings. I have a thing for earrings. I have to buy jewelry every event I go to. So let's get to the stuff that was free, and then we'll get to the stuff that I bought. So everybody who pre-purchased their ticket for this event, because you had to get one of the VIP tickets, I want to say it was. I could be wrong. Um, to get a goodie bag. And this bag is nice and hefty. So let's get to what's inside. I have a full-size bottle of Beautiful Textures Tangle Taming Leave-In Conditioner, which I haven't tried before, so this will be new. I also got two other free size samples of the Naturally You Conditioner and Cleanser. I have a, sam a sample of the Ampro Olive Oil Gel. I got a lot of coupons and stuff in here and flyers, so I'm not going to pull all that out, but mostly the goodie stuff. I've got from goodies the stay put hold, and I don't know if you can hear that, but it's got like the little ridges on it. No metal pieces, thank goodness. I also have a comb, travel comb. This should be in my purse right now. I have samples from Eden Body Works, the all natural shampoo and conditioner from the Peppermint Tea Tree Collection. I also have a sample of Kinky Curly Not Today. I also have a sample of the Curl Jealousy from Curls. I might be mispronouncing this person's name, but it's from BlackOnyxWorld.com and it's the Ally K Naturals and this is the cream creme brulee curling custard and that pretty much takes care of like I said the rest of this is like coupons and flyers and stuff and I have my program and it just kind of highlighted you know about the person who founded it which was Kenya Kelly who got it all started some of the people that were there so this was a really nice one of the nicest goodie bags I've ever received attending an event. So, I would say that my ticket price was worth all of what came in this bag. I have another goodie bag. I have actually two. These were handed to me by two separate people. I have a goodie bag inside of a goodie bag. So, this one is by... Organics African Best, and these are a lot of samples from that company, which would include the Thermal Radiance Heat Guard, which is something you would use whenever you're going to blow dry or flat iron your hair. I have a sample for kids, which this will work to my advantage. The Shea Butter Detangling Moisturizing Lotion. I also have Curl Keeper. hair mayo olive oil leave-in conditioner now this is from somebody called Aunt Jackie's curls and coils this is the in control anti-poof soft moisturizing and softening conditioner and the oh so clean moisturizing and softening shampoo so that takes care of everything that's in this little baggie. And then, this somehow got in the wrong bag, but Organic Root Stimulator. And I have their Lock and Twist Gel. And then I also have a sample of the Shea Butter Hair and Scalp Lotion. 
and more hair mayo. So, that takes care of that. Now we're going to the stuff that I purchased. So, I want to talk about this one here first. Karen's Beautiful Body. I love her bags. Every time I see her bags, I always would say I want to try her stuff. So, now I can say I have her stuff. Everybody talked about this. and I mean, this was like when I first kind of started hearing about Karen's Beautiful Body. It was fall, winter time. The Sweet Ambrosia Leave-In Conditioner. And I have the pomegranate guava version. They have other scents if this is too much, but this smells so good, like you wish you could eat it. And then for my little green bag, I have from Oyen a little sample pack. Now this was only like 21 bucks and I got five things in here. So I think that's a steal. And the items that are in here are the hairdo conditioner. This is the honey hemp conditioner. This is the divine and shine. The burnt sugar pomade, which this stuff smells so good. And this is grape juice. It's like hair tonic, if you're wondering what that is. So, this was a really good deal because I know that the burnt sugar pomade was like $13 the first time I saw it on, like, naturally, the Curl Mart. So, that was just for one product versus me getting five. So, I think I got a really good deal with that. I have, and this is something I wish all companies did. Because sometimes you want to try something, but you don't want to buy like a full size version. So, um, this is from My Honey Child. I've always wanted to try her stuff. I have the Honey Love Pomade, and this is the Sophia's Hair Gel. And these were small, like five bucks. So, at least if I don't like it, I didn't buy a whole thing of it. I also have now, I bought these home from a child because I've been wanting to try these after um, seeing on beads braids and beyond the be mine products because I follow her she has really good hairstyles for children I have the moisturizing shampoo and this is from the botanical line because this one is packaged a little differently and then this one is the luscious balanced cream moisturizer so I wanted to try these for my daughter see how it works out again small sizes so if you don't like it you don't have a whole container of it and then I've been wanting to try this ever since I discovered curlynikki.com this is from Elucence this is their moisture benefit shampoo which you can't find locally where I live so that was my haul from the return of the curls expo and if you weren't there um, I have footage from it so I'll link that video to this one I don't know if I said that earlier and I don't feel like going back and redoing this video again <laughs> and I also have um, footage from two of the workshops one that Felicia Leatherwood did and the other one from Dr. Nina Ellis Hervey aka Beautiful Brown Baby Doll so that was pretty much what I ha this is all the stuff I bought home and um, there will be another one uh, let's see. November is when the next Return of the Curls will be in Richmond, Virginia. So make sure you go to the Return of the Curls website to kind of keep yourself updated on what's going on and when tickets go on sale and all that good stuff. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.